So, today's video is gonna be more different than I would usually make. And the only reason why is because people have been asking for quite a long time actually. Because everybody's wanting to know how they make videos, what type of equipment do I use specifically, and all that stuff. So, this video will explain every single detail on what I use, how I use it, explaining everything and all that stuff. So, you should listen to you right now and hopefully things will work well. Okay. Just know that these videos are complicated on how I make them. It isn't easy to make, it was hard for me to find my own groove and style on how I make my videos because no one really know, has their own style because from what I've known, I've seen other stackers kind of go into the same idea of other stackers in general from what I've known prospectively because I've seen so many other stackers copying other stackers. It's just, I don't like it. now. This video will be condensed into three parts. One is when I get a new record. Number two is when is what? What am I thinking? <laughs> number two is how I make a synchro properly. And number three is how I make my sum fast times coming this summer. For those of you who don't know, I actually do have a script right here and everything. So there's some stuff that kind of made sense, but doesn't because I kind of stayed up kind of late at night to really work on this. So whoops. So today, I'm going to explain what I use to record and everything else. So for starters, the one I'm using currently is my Canon EOS Rebel T5i using a 10mm Sam Yang camera lens because this is one of the best ones I can get that I can still use my T5i with so I can still use it properly. The one I've used mainly is the Canon G7X. I've used the Canon G7X I got for Christmas and I'm loving it a lot. The one I'm using for my mic for my T5i is the Tacstar. And for my audio recording and everything, I use the Blue Yeti and I have a pop filter as well. And for those of you who don't know that I, how would I be? Mm, mm, I have problems. <laughs> I use OBS to screen record my computer now because I've gotten that thing from a friend and I might start streaming on Twitch soon in the future. I don't know when, but hopefully things will go well. So right now, we are going to show you how I find my videos. Now, when it comes to finding videos, you gotta I usually use Firefox most of the time. I actually have this already set up already. So I'm gonna be using this song to go through the background of the music. So right now we are gonna go into sports stacking. Well, the only reason why, because I just wanna just go through that. So for the first part, I might go through like, I'm gonna try to go find like a new record. Like if I, when I get a new record and all that stuff. So I have it right here. I think I have it right here. So not view. Okay. so. What we're gonna do is we are gonna go, do I, yeah, I have my video clip right there, perfect. So we're gonna go to another desktop and what I use to edit my videos is Final Cut Pro X. I've been using Final Cut Pro X for a long, long time and I've been enjoying it so much because I'm exploring on how I I can be creative with my videos a lot. So there's that part. <laughs> you should have, I can get your shoes. <laughs> In perspective, this is just a new uh, event that I just made because this is literally like the last thing I kind of wanted to do. So what we're going to do is that we are going to drag this into the event right here. And that where you see your clip right there. And right here is the background task. This is where you see where you're rendering, transcoding, as in importing videos in general. As you can tell, it's like clocking down on how long it's gonna be. So it's almost done to be complete. And there we go. It is now officially imported. Now, the intros wise, I have intros made by other people. So I wanna give a special Thank you to my good friends, Kian. I do want to thank Ashley Foster, and I want to thank RandomTV.com or something. I don't know. I usually would decide between those two intros because most of the time I don't really know what to use. If you want to have your footage enlarged, you have to change the appearance of the clips in your timeline. All you gotta do is you grab this, you bring it all the way to the top. Don't worry. Once it comes up, I'm gonna use Ashley's intro for starters. And there you go. It has, it's enlarged and it's good to go. And to make things a little fair, this is the adjusted timeline zone level. This pretty much will increase, this will be decreasing the footage right here. And 
this will increase the amount. So you can go frame by frame or less of a frame right there. And as you can tell, it's a little loud, so I'm gonna bring it down to like maybe 10, negative 10, whichever works, honestly. So, let's check this out. So let's check this out. So, the intro is officially done. Now, when I use titles and everything, I usually go for pretty much the basic title most of the time because I don't want to have like those dissolving ins and dissolving outs. That's just my perspective because it's just not what I like. It's just something that doesn't fit with me. So pretty much, I will go into an official titling. This is the main titling that I made. And in order to save it, like if you have like, if you want to try to go for your own style, there you have many different fonts to choose from, which is really convenient to use. And you can change the height, you can change the regular from italic, bold, all that stuff. And if you want to like, save it for future use. I actually need to change this back to gills because I kind of screwed up, screwed it up a little bit. I might have to do it to this. If you want to save this, all you have to do is save all format and appearance attributes. We would put in for, this is like a new record type of video. So the way that I kind of would do it is after 10 months of no new cycle record, that would be type of an example. I don't want to be the type of an obvious stacker that gets new records over and over again. But I kind of learned how like getting new records is hard. It is really hard getting new records most of the time, honestly. When it comes to finding music, it is hard to find certain musics because it's more hard for me to have like a different feel and a different vibe to it, honestly. When it comes to using different music, I usually go for type of uh, different feel and type of vibe. I don't usually use no copyright sounds because that's kind of like the most obvious music everyone pretty much uses. People say that I usually use mashups a lot and I overuse it. I understand and I am... This is just the way that I usually go for. And we're just gonna randomly search up mashups for no reason to see what we can find. So we got like Faded and Closer, mashup Alan Walker and Chainsmokers and Has, Has, Haley, Hasley, I don't know. I'm sorry to the artist. We got mashup Germany, Top of Pop 2013, Someone Like You, Adele Vici, Tayo Cruz, I hadn't heard from his music in a long time. We got Miami Deep House, we got Shape of You and Treat You Better. Shawn Mendes and Ed Sheeran. Let's check this out. When it comes to finding music, you always gotta check the description to see if there's any certain specific copyrights. Like if you see like a suggested by UMG, that means the video is copyrighted and so forth because it's something that will be a little wonky. So I have to think of something different. So we got top 10 music videos official or something like that, I don't know. Well, top 10 music official, there we go, okay. I wanna go for a different type of music channel and everything, so I wanna go for like, I'm gonna check DJ Drybones if he has posted anything. Eventually. We're gonna check what Roger Shaw has in store for us today. There we go, we got like a bunch of music to choose from. The only reason why I am choosing this song is like even though it could be a little copyright and everything, but I'm gonna accept this because I'm gonna try to like decrease the amount of music. From what I've known personally, if you use a song that's less than 30 seconds, it's not gonna be copyrighted. I shared a share and like it kind of shows that it is copyrighted, but I am gonna make an exception to use this. And the Comments are always interesting. The beat dropped harder than McDonald's Wi-Fi. It's always good to read the comments, especially when it comes to this. So, I usually use like a YouTube converter and all that stuff and everything, so... Wait, I might actually check if I have this song already, so... I usually have like a bunch of music that I have from YouTube and I kind of go through it. We just got the clip of the song. Now we're gonna import it into here. I'm gonna show you how it's all done. And the way I usually do it is when I kind of like go towards near the bass drop. I try to find the bass drop, so you gotta give me some time. A few inches later. So I just found the bass drop and everything. And now we are gonna go towards editing the video right now. So enjoy this little time lapse. So 
I usually go for like the 110 one down stack and for this we are gonna slow this down we are gonna silence the clip and we're gonna bring this down to negative five and we're gonna continue going through and editing the text most of the time so after 10 minutes of no new cycle record I finally present after all of after so long So this is kind of like how it usually goes down. Now I'm gonna, the only reason why I'm copying this, well, I'm gonna change into a different text. So we are gonna use something kind of like continuous, for example. Now we're gonna add in sports stacking new sack record. And for those of you who are kind of curious to know, this is from when I got my 5.544. Usually when it comes to this type of a manner, this is what we have right now, so here we go. This is what we got. Once that's done, I'm gonna try to get the clip all together and everything and I am going to bring a little transition. Now when it comes to using transitions, I kind of go for like something a bit different or something, I don't know. So the clip is kind of like where it's like kind of have like the dissolve in and all that stuff. So we're gonna try to dissolve the music when the second record comes in. I'm usually gonna go for like three minutes pretty much. So that'll be a little easier for us. So let's go through this a little time, one more time. <laughs> Yes, of course I kind of had a huge reaction because I haven't beat my record in so long pretty much. What we're going to do now is that we are going to add the same clip again, but this time we are going to have it slow motion this time. So we're going to put it under 50% and I think we're going to end it right here. Including to this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make an intro. Well, why am I thinking an intro? What is wrong with me? The next step is how I make a synchro, so this will be the next step. Eventually. I'm just gonna wait. I'm actually just gonna wait until it's done. I guess it just keeps going. Okay. Once Marcus's clip is done, we drag it into here, into our event. Now we're just gonna bring our little video clip over down to here because it's a little easier for us to go through. I'm gonna show you specifically on how to do a synchro, so let's get started. 